Hello YouTube people. Welcome back to my channel. And to those watching for the first time, welcome. I'm just so happy and excited to finally be doing another video and have hopes for my channel for 2019. A very happy new year to everyone and I hope you all had a great holiday season. Today I will be attempting my second cooking video. If you haven't seen my first video, which is called the Seafood Feast, please go back and watch. It is how I serve seafood when I have a crowd. Today I will be making a recipe that was born out of the need to get dinner on the table when the fridge and the freezer were pretty bare. It came out great and became part of my repertoire for many years. My kids loved it, but my husband is not a fan of casseroles, so I haven't made it in eons. But it is Monday night dinner, and as usual, I'm having my kids over, so I thought it would be fun to resurrect this recipe. I would vary the ingredients sometimes, depending on what I have on hand, but basically it is pasta, hamburger, kielbasa, onions, cream soup, and vegetables. If I was in a rush, I would serve it straight from the pan, but if I had time, I would put it in a casserole dish and sprinkle it with cheese and breadcrumbs and put it in the oven for a little while. I originally jokingly called it cooking with nothing, but eventually it became just referred to as casserole. In thinking of a vegan option, you could um, make it with the uh, vegetarian meat crumbles and stick with the cream of mushroom or cream of celery soup. Today I'm serving a salad. I usually always serve salad on Mondays and today I'm serving a salad of a mix spring spring mix and multicolored peppers, carrots and tomatoes. Today I am wearing a super soft charcoal gray top with red and gold roses on it from Walmart. It is the No Boundaries brand. Anyone that knows me knows it was calling my name as I am super attracted to anything with roses on it. I happened to see it as I was going in line to check out. It was on the end rack for $9.99 and with that price I also got a cranberry version. Actually I think it is supposed to be a dress for juniors but I wear it as a tunic and it is super stretchy. I'm also wearing it with gray boot cut yogas from Women Within and black suede booties from Payless that I got on a buy for buy one get one deal last year. I'm also wearing a crystal and silver necklace, heart necklace that I've had for decades and it's one of my favorites. I hope you enjoy this video. It is a budget friendly meal for a crowd but if you have a smaller family you can always cut it in half. Don't forget to click like and I hope you will consider subscribing and hit the bell to receive notification of any future videos. Okay, let's get started. Right now I'm boiling the pasta and I'm using today the Great uh, Value Radatory um, Pasta. It's the rough ones that are shaped like ruffles. Um, this is my uh, favorite pasta to use for uh, the casserole. You can use other pastas, but this one is my favorite. And um, I got this at Walmart, I believe, for 88 cents. And so I'm using two pounds. And I'm using the um, ground beef, the beef chuck from Walmart. Um, I believe this is uh, 374. Back when I started this recipe, um, hamburger was 99 cents a pound, but um, everything is more today, as you know. So I'm browning the meat. And I'm um, also browning a pound of kielbasa. Um, I had a kielbasa, but my husband um, just bought this one from uh, Save-A-Lot. I don't know what brand it was.
So now that I've got that started, I'm going to uh, shut it off for a minute and get my um, two onions chopped to add to it. So now I'm adding the two chopped onions to the meat. And I turn the stove back on. And then I'm also um, adding several um, cloves of garlic. Um, back when I first started making this, I would use garlic powder, which I sometimes still do, but I'm out of garlic powder anyway. So I'm using um, the garlic cloves. And we've had a lot of people under the weather over the holidays, so we could use the garlic. So now I'm adding some salt and pepper. Um, I'm also um, adding adobo. I'm going to need to buy some more. And I'm also um, adding some Italian seasoning to the meat. And I need to buy some more of that also. Okay, I'm going to cover that up. And I have some water <coughs> boiling for the mixed vegetables. That's my preferred uh, vegetables to put in it. You can do these uh, steam in a bag, but I prefer to do to boil them a little just to make sure they're not too crunchy for certain people. I'm adding a little salt to the water. Cover that. And now the water is boiling for the pasta. So I add a good amount of salt. And the two boxes of the ratted curry. And I'm going to put the cover back on to bring it up back up to a boil. Okay, so the ratatouille uh, pasta is supposed to cook 9 to 11 minutes or until tender. Okay, now I'm spraying my um, biggest pan with the uh, Pam spray so that it doesn't stick because I am going to put it in the oven. Okay, the meat and um, onions are done and I'm just going to shut that off now. And the pasta and the vegetables are almost done. I'm um, showing you I'm using the Simply Nature Organic Spring Mix. It might seem a little pricey. Um, I think it was $3.99, but I'm not sure. But this was pa just packed with green. So really it does not, it's really economical because it saves work. It's triple washed and I get several salads out of it. In the interest of time, I've gone ahead and made the salad. Okay, the vegetables are done, and I'm going to um, drain them. I don't want them to get too, too, too soft. And then I'm going to um, put them back in the pot for 
Oh boy. And I'm going to put a little um, spray butter on them just to give it a little flavor. Okay, so I've added three cans of um, cream soup, uh, one mushroom and two chicken. And now I'm adding some butter to the pasta and a little bit of olive oil. So now I've added the meat and now I'm adding the vegetables. And then I'm going to stir it and put it in the pan. Okay, I've mixed in some Parmesan cheese and then I sprinkled more Parmesan cheese on top with some um, grated cheese and uh, a little bit of breadcrumbs and then a little bit more Parmesan cheese on top and now it's ready to go in the oven. So now it's out of the oven and ready to come to the table. See you next time.